Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm here to do another quick love reading for you all. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and any other major placements in which you may have Sagittarius in your chart. It's been a while, Sagittarius. I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. It's very important to remember that this will not resonate with all Sagittarius's out there. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it is not your story, it is very, very important not to force it. Please remember this is a general reading. I do offer personal, so if you would be interested, go ahead and book with me. I do have a special going on. Um, right now, you can book through my Etsy or you can book through my Gmail account. Everything is in the description below. Woo. Under the deck, Sagittarius. Um, we, sorry, loves. Under the deck, we have the King of Swords in reverse. It's very strange. Um, I'm going to read this as you, Sag. I'm going to read this as your person. Roles can always be reversed. Go ahead and flip it as need be. They're telling me to start here. You have the Ten of Cups, the Moon in Reverse, the Three of Cups, and the Strength in Reverse. Uh, you could be dealing with a Pisces, could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Taurus, could be dealing with a Virgo, a Scorpio. And Sagittarius, honestly, I think you have your eye on someone, all right? The person over here, I don't see anything in their energy. I think this is the energy you're giving out about somebody in your surrounding energy, okay? With the Ten of Cups, I think you're daydreaming about the happiness you could have with someone. The Ten of Cups is over here. You see how it's kind of like a fairy tale, kind of like a daydream or a dream, like the the spouse, the family, the happiness, just in a serene environment, you know what I mean? But you see how this person is blacked out. Now remember, gender is not a role. You could be, this could be man or woman, right? Just flip it how it resonates. But you see how this this person is dressed differently. It's almost as if he's daydreaming what life could be, right? or he or she. I think that either this person is daydreaming about a life with you, Sag, or maybe you're daydreaming about a life with somebody else or someone someone on you have your eye on. Like you're wondering what it would be like to like come home to this person. And I think it's 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 a like a like your bubble burst, right? Or if this person is dreaming about you, then it's like their bubble burst with the moon in reverse, right? The moon in reverse talks about something coming to light also coming out of dreams coming out of daydreams like like then you go back to reality reality like oh that was just a dream like it wasn't real i definitely feel like there's someone daydreaming about you i don't know sag okay i don't know if you're taken daydreaming about someone or if this person's taken and you're daydreaming about them or vice versa right or if you're taken and this person's daydreaming about you or they're taken daydreaming about you there's definitely somebody here who is already in a connection okay because we have the three of cups the three of cups here it's like this talks about a third party i think that somebody is already in a connection and the other is daydreaming about what it would be like what it could be like if they had the opportunity to either be with you Sag or you be with them right with the three of cups you see how it's almost like she's lost in a dream like wondering what it would be like daydreaming like oh I wonder if this was reality here you know, if, 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 if me and Sag could have a great life, could have a good time, could go out and do things, right? But they feel like it's pointless or that it's useless or there's no hope here with the strength in reverse. 
they're unable to manifest this they're unable to grasp this or possibly you possibly maybe sad you feel weak like you can't as if you can't um obtain this like this is the one goal you can't obtain and it's possible that maybe this person is is taken or maybe you're already taken right In your energy, Sagittarius, you have the Seven of Swords, the Death in Reverse, the Two of Wands in Reverse, and the Empress in Reverse. And the Empress has a three on it. I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo, Sagittarius, or... But there's definitely, I don't know, there's definitely a third party here, okay? The Seven of Swords, look at this card. And this is my Haunted, he haunt <laughs> haunted Hex, ooh! I don't know if some of y'all do hexes, but I this is my Haunted House Tarot deck. Um, and I haven't used this in a while, but for something, some for some reason, something told me use this for Sagittarius. The Seven of Swords, y'all know, this is that lying, cheating, sneaky, deceitful, whatever you want to call it card. All right, and look at how she's looking at two people, right? It's almost as if there's a third party on the outside of this connection looking in, wondering maybe how how it would be like, right? Like holding, this can also mean non-communicative, not sharing how you feel, not expressing yourself, right? Anything that's getting in the way that can sabotage a connection. And swords are communication. And it's almost like this person has a lot to say to someone who's already in a connection. So I don't know if this is you, Sagittarius, or if there's someone looking at your connection already, wondering what it would be like. You know what I mean? There's that moon again, that daydream, that dreamy feeling. Looking, I wonder what it would be like. You know what I mean? And it's in reverse, meaning that this is going to come to light. This is going to come to light. However, with the death in reverse, I don't think it's going to have much of an impact on whoever is in a relationship. With the death in reverse, that means no ending, right? No ending. And maybe that's what possibly whoever is daydreaming or reminiscing or hoping or wishing or praying, they don't want to... It's you know, I'm getting strongly like your friends or you're connected or something. It could be that you're friends and you don't want to ruin the friendship by saying anything, right? Like you're afraid that it's going to come to an end if, if you mention it. But there is someone here who is faced with a decision or faced with feelings for two people with the two of wands, right? This Wands are feelings. And it's almost as if like, there's been a crossroads. There's been a crossroads and it's possible that someone has feelings for two different people. There's that little dreamy, that dream again, the moon dream. Look at yes, no, yes, no. It's almost as if like somebody is like confused on whether or not to speak up or who they want to pursue their actual feelings with. Um, and with the Empress in reverse, I think that there hasn't been a lot of forward movement or, or forward expansion no one has reached out to express how they feel or, or to express their plans or how they want to go about things but the number three is there okay so that tells me there's definitely a third party there's third party written all over this and i think it's like a maybe there's possible a friend in love with with another friend who's taken okay i'm sorry if i'm all over the place with this reading In the mutual energy, we have the Hierophant in reverse, the Magician in reverse, and the Five of Swords in reverse. Definitely someone is taken here. Someone is taken here, like for sure, for sure, because the mutual energy, this, this is a separation. The Hierophant means a separation, a divorce, a departure, rebelling. Not going against, not going against tradition when it's in reverse. You're going against tradition. And I think for the mutual, it's almost as if like, Sag, either they want you to separate from who you're with or you may want them to separate with who they're with, right? And with the Magician in Reverse and the Five of Swords, it's like either, Sag, if this is you in love with someone who's taken,
you feel like the person that they're with does not deserve them maliciousness right the magician in reverse maliciousness five of swords swords turmoil deception in the past and i'm getting strongly like you feel like this person doesn't deserve them and you would make them happy now if roles are reversed then this person over here thinks that whoever you're with does not deserve you and they can be and they would be better for you this person cares about you so much and i don't think i don't think okay who there's someone here who's like absolutely smitten i think they're smitten with you sag or maybe you're smitten with them but someone is absolutely smitten with someone else And, you, and I don't think the other person realizes just how much emotions are there. Yeah. It's almost kind of like somebody's trapped in a daydream. Trapped in a what if. Trapped in a one day, you know? Underneath the deck, we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords. This is someone who's lying. All right, it doesn't have to be lying to the other person. It's lying to themselves, right? Not speaking up, not speaking their truth. Not, it like hurts. Whoever hasn't relayed this, it hurts them. It hurts them not to say this, right? It hurts them not to communicate their feelings. There's definitely someone in love with a friend here. And I think the last reading I did for you, Sagittarius, it was about getting out of the friend zone. If this message is resonating, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, if you want to purchase any of my decks, purchase a reading, um, hear out my podcast, everything is in the description below. Give me some moon messages for Sagittarius. Ooh, rebirth or transformation. I think somebody's getting ready to speak up here if they haven't already. Move along. Yeah, it's kind of like, what are we doing? Let, I got to speak up in order to move things along. Otherwise, it's always going to stay, stay stagnant. Peeps. There's, there's people involved. Yeah, there's like more than one person involved in this. There's like, there it definitely is a third party. Give me the mutual. Ooh, in the mutual, we have Charmer and we have expect the company of someone new very soon. Orange Moon. Someone's definitely getting ready to speak up. Someone is definitely, definitely ready to speak up and speak how they feel. Ooh, we have money, finances, and the 25th hour. Something's happening behind the scenes with your money. That's strange with your money or with this person's money, Sagittarius. There's something definitely coming into play here. There's there's someone's angels are working extra hard behind the scenes for somebody's money. Or it could be that you're just overworking or this person is overworking trying to bring their money up. Give me one more for Sagittarius person. Ooh, I fall apart. This person is experiencing money issues. This person isn't even really focused on love right now. Like this person is focusing on their career or their finances because they're hurting for money. There's something behind the scenes happening. I'm going to get you some love messages really quick, Sagittarius. Give me some love messages for Sagittarius. Give me some love messages for Sagittarius. Ooh, 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 ooh. We have... Not enough chemistry or attraction. Your smile, though, I don't know how to express how I feel about you. Yes, so someone feels like they're, whoever is in a connection, right? The other person, Sag, I don't know if it's you thinking that whoever is with your person does not deserve them, like they have nothing in common. I think you think about this person a lot, and if you don't, this person thinks about you. I'm getting you all have like a very strong chemistry between you, but I'm getting like a friend type of vibe, you know what I mean? Like, Sag, I don't know if you want to move things to the next level with this person, but then we have, I don't know how to express how I feel about you. So I think that some, somebody or both of you are afraid to, to kind of move this to the next level or speak your truth to each other, right? 
Underneath the deck, we have Mesmerized by you. So there definitely is some, some attraction there. But that is what I have for you, Sag. I hope this helps. I hope this resonates. I'm sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you so much, and I will talk to you soon.